I could just get Peter Sellers to do another one, you know? <laughs> I am a seller, then you're an old cunt. You're a seller, then I'm an old cunt. No. Because Peter Sellers is too busy making the remake to Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, there you go. He's uh, pushing Miss Daisy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. This, do you understand? This is such a disgrace. Someone should remake the jerk. Someone is suggesting on the line. I mean, that's you know, I mean, you look at a, a great Steve Martin movie. Like, I know he's got the cheaper by the dozen and bringing down the house. Oh, well, which were big movies and original characters. And I know. Stuff. They I think, do stink though. I think the point you're trying to make is like it's such a gr the movie's great because of the character that Peter Sellers developed. It's amazing. That it's like a shame. It's one a of those redo that. It's one of those movies and to redo where it badly. The actor playing the character is the whole movie. Yes. You can't replace that actor playing that character. Honeymooners with Jackie yeah. Gleason. And just out of respect for a comic actor of Sellers' greatness, you, you should pay reverence to that and go, you know what? That's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's fucking something you don't touch. You, you leave yeah. it alone. I mean, at least Cedric, he did. They did the Honeymooners, which is a sickening disgrace. But they did a black version. He didn't just do an impression. It's like it was. It was at least. This to me is a worse offense, a much worse offense. Same managers, Jimmy? Uh, yes. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> this is a worse offense. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Good Money. I can't do it. I can't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. America. 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 Like, America. like Elmer Fudd. America. Can you do it? Let's hear it. Welcome back. Welcome back to. <laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning America. What are we talking about? Oh my god. Why is god. everyone so dense this morning? <laughs> it's insane. God, this is going on and on like an Opie and Anthony bit. <laughs> I hope the crowds line up and fucking laugh. If you pay to see this movie, you are a dumb motherfucker. You dick! Yeah. You're a dumb motherfucker. Well, Steve explains how physically demanding the movie was in this next oh, clip. Oh, well. Before I let you go, I have to ask, did some of that hurt? Because of one of Clouseau's trademarks, of course, there is nothing in the neighborhood he doesn't fall over, trip over, fall into, yeah. or, yeah, or mistake Well, you know, something it's else. jarring. You know, yeah. I didn't injure myself, but it's jarring. You know, even falling on a 12-inch pad is, uh, you know, it jars you at this age. But, uh... It's, it's so much fun. You know, once they say action, you're 14 again, you know, and then when they say cut, you're 60, you know. <laughs> well, I love what you said, that, that you'll do another one even if it requires hip replacements <laughs> in order to do. Uh, you will it's not be doing another one, Mr. Martin. Oh, by the way, the beautiful Friday, thing, this is really interesting behind-the-scenes stuff. It's yeah. I feel like I'm watching Hearts funny, of Darkness. Everybody. <laughs> there will be. There won't be. Another of one. course, there won't be. This thing is gonna be the, one of the biggest bombs. Maybe Diane Sawyer can play him. I don't know. I, I fucking every time I think it's gonna bomb, it winds up making eighty million. The public is dumb. Yeah. Oh, the the honeymooners. They didn't get away with it. Yeah, well, I know. They were black too. Nobody. Yeah, the black films though, make less. All yeah. these rubes would be like, oh, Steve Martin, so funny. Cheaper by the dozen. It. Let's go see bringing down the house with the saucy black girl. Beyonce. She's saucy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I only want to see uh, fucking this Pink Panther if Shirley Hemphill were alive and playing his love interest. And all she said was, eat my ass, white motherfucker. Hemphill? Yes, that was her name. Shirley Hemphill. Hemphill. Let's go to Anthony. Hemphill? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Shirley Hempel. Her, Shirley Hempel. Yes. So P H is Hempel. Hempel. Yeah, it wasn't Hempel. It was Hempel. You're wrong. Hempel. I Shirley can't Hempel. help either. Are you here? I don't know. Shirley Hempel. I don't care. I called her something completely different. Yeah, one word. Simple. <laughs> Patrice. No, it's not no. Shirley no. Hempel. Is it? I don't know. No, you don't no, know. No, I don't know. No. Hempel. Well, you know, you, why don't you just call somebody on the phone and see? <laughs> you fucking dope. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to Anthony in Jersey. Anthony. Hey, guys. Hey. Well, I called Jimmy out on this. Sure. <laughs> He's bitching about this, and yet if someone uh, jumped up and offered him $10 million to do the role, he'd be right there putting on that coat. But he's not Steve First of all, let's understand, sir, okay. I'd do it for 500000 There you go. And also, what I'm saying is Steve Martin's in a position 
He hosted the Oscars. Steve Martin's a major fucking player, man. He he has decision making ability where he can go. Now nah, he he gets scripts. He has an audition. They hand him scripts. And he's got yeah. enough money where he doesn't have to yeah. worry yeah. about paying a mortgage and stuff like that. When you're at a point where you're fucking turning scripts down, where they say, "Look, please do this. Nope. Please do this. Nope. Please do this." Okay. To me, well, just, you have accountability. They keep, the, yeah. they keep raising the price. Yeah, you know, I understand he didn't do it for money, dude. It's just still a disgrace, though. You don't yeah, see Gary Oldman doing this shit. No. All right, let's uh, let's choice good point. Let's move on. And that's not an excuse just because I would do it. I'm a fucking dirty dick joke artist from Jersey. We missed a great story.